Okay, so I'm still working my way down the, uh, this list of, of problems that students have attempted but not completed. And here I'm under this one, solving limited reactant problems in solution. So it looks like about a tenth of the students who attempted this did not successfully complete it. Um, that's really good, by the way. I'm looking at this, and it's a complicated question. So I, la I left myself uh, extra room for it here. Um, so I'm probably going to use it. All right. So solving limiting, limiting reactant problems in solution. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is make a couple notes here. Suppose that we've got this much potassium bromide. Uh, and it's dissolved in some solution, okay? And this solution is silver nitrate. So I'm gonna practice my nomenclature and look those up. Nitrate is NO3 minus. Silver is, is Ag plus one. So they go together in a one-to-one -one ratio. So silver nitrate is just that. Potassium bromide is a little more familiar to me, so I didn't, didn't step you through how to how to name that. All right, that's what we're dealing with. And so the, the problem comes to be like this. Uh, we're going to calculate the final molarity of the bromide anion, anion in solution. I'm thinking, what, what's going on there? The reaction looks like this. Potassium bromide, this is aqueous, plus silver nitrate, this is aqueous, produces, and I gotta think about this for a second. Aha, it's a precipitation reaction it's gonna be potassium nitrate aqueous plus silver bromide. And this is my solid. All right, so since we're doing a, a, a precipitation reaction, I'm gonna switch colors here. It turns out we're gonna have some bromide that's left. Aha, ha, okay. So I gotta calculate really the moles of each of these and then the final volume, which looks like the final volume is gonna be that because I didn't add anything to it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's, pick, let's calculate the moles of everything here in solution and then we'll see what matches up. All right, so I've got 0.299 grams of this stuff. That's my formula weight and here's my moles. 0 0.299 0 0.299 grams of this stuff so being grams and the formula weight of potassium bromide is what um, I'm gonna look it up One nineteen point oh oh two. All right, getting a little lazy on you there. A little bit of a rush for time. One nineteen point oh oh two, and so the moles for that are going to be. Let me just come out some some place else on my paper. One nineteen point oh oh two grams per mole. I'm looking for. Ah, oh, sorry. 0 0.29, I'm sorry, I'm really struggling here. It's early morning. 299 grams, 119.002 grams per mole is equal to, I've got to do this in my calculator. Point two nine nine divided by 119.002. 0.00251. So this, the moles here is, watch this, 0 0.00251256. I'm going to just say three, okay? That's how many moles of bromide I have coming in. I've got moles of that many moles of potassium bromide, and each time, it, it, every one of those that breaks up makes one mole of bromide, okay? And so ultimately, some of those are gonna go here. It looks like I'm gonna have some left over. How many moles of silver nitrate do I have? All right, let me go back to black. So it looks like I've got a volume of silver nitrate. It's gonna be 11. No, no, no. It's a volume, so it's 200 mils. Zero point.
liters, right? Agreed? And uh, the concentration is equal to 11. Why has got to be painful to watch me do this? 11 times 10 to the minus 3. There's my times 10 to the minus 3 molar. That's moles per liter, right? And we know from previous course that moles is equal to moles per liter times liters, right? So I just multiply those two. <coughs> Excuse me. 11. <coughs> Excuse me, please. 0. 0.0 times 10 to the minus 3 times 0.2 equals 0 0.0022 0 0.0022 aha okay so here's the limiting reactant issue right you see I'm gonna get 0 0.0022 moles of this stuff plus 0 0.00253 moles of this stuff how many moles am I gonna get of this stuff this is the limiting reagent question right I get these two together well, this is a, look at this. This is a one to one to one to one ratio. So I'm not going to do the, 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 the I'm not going to set it up and do the math with you because you can see by inspection that it's going to be the less of these two. 0 0.0022 liters, right? Now, if that's how much silver bromide I have, how much bromide do I have left? How much do I have left? Well, I had this much to start out with and I used that much. So it's going to be 0 0.002513 minus that, and that's going to be my answer. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and do those. And it's going to be 0 0.000313, which I'm going to report. This is, I'm doing it to three sig figs, right? There's three sig figs here, three sig figs here, three sig figs here, okay? So this is going to be a zero here, by the way, all right? Because, of, again, I had three sig figs here. That was 11.0. Having said that, 0 0.000313, I'm going to now report this. I'm going to go back to black now. And as 3.13234. Times 10 to the minus 4 moles. Okay? Oh, that's not my answer. This is the moles. I'm looking for molarity, right? So I've got that many moles divided by this many liters, because that's what I started with. I didn't add anything to, I didn't add any um, volume to that at all. So it's divided by 0.2 liters. And there's my molarity. Right, so I take that divided by 0.2, and the answer is 1.57 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. And there's my answer. Okay? All right, hope that's helpful. You will notice that I set everything up in columns, right? There's my columns. I never needed to use any of that. But I just set stuff up in columns to make it easy for, to, for myself to find everything. Um, and, that's, uh, and that's the way I'm gonna solve these problems uh, when I'm doing them uh, as examples. I recommend that you, you find some way to keep track of your, of your work. All right, good luck.